Hey y'all, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm coming on today for a collective haul. Um, I have some goodies from scrapbook.com, AliExpress, Cracker Barrel, Amazon, um, a D Stash, Dollar Tree, Marshalls, and then a couple of things from Gabe's. So, anyways, with that being said, um, let's just go ahead and jump in. So I'll share my goodies from scrapbook.com. Um, I actually placed an order for the Photo Play Sugar Plum Christmas. And um, I've had this for a few days and I've just been waiting. So I figured I'd go ahead and share. Um, but my free gift with this order was the Dear Lizzie Thickers. And these are just kind of a... I guess they're gold, but they have like a really yellow uh, tone to it, like a mustard yellow. Um, they're really pretty. And I feel like you could use these with a lot of different collections. So that was my free little goodie. And then here is the, um, the little kit that I bought. Um, this is the collection pack. And I don't know what all is in it. Oh, wait, it's up here. So you're getting 12 sheets of the 12 by 12 uh, cardstock, one sheet of the 12 by 12 designer cardstock stickers. And I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So anyways, I'll just, oh, sorry about the glare. So this is absolutely adorable. And I'm going to um, show you a little closer look up of some of the extra papers that I bought. And also I'll show you um, a better look, hopefully without the glare of these um, stickers. But I really like this because of all the pastels and I'm loving the mints and the pinks together. Um, and of course, I'm loving the little um, nutcrackers. And so, yeah, I thought this was a really fun collection. And then here is um, a closer look of the stickers like I said hopefully you can see these a little better um, without the glare y'all know my lighting absolutely <laughs> sucks I don't know what to do about it um, I try to lighten up my videos every time um, I edit but ugh, I don't know you guys I only have one one room or one window in my craft room I'm surrounded by trees and I don't know it's and I don't have the room for like a bunch of fancy overhead lights and and all the things so anyways I rely on my aunt light <laughs> a lot of times and that's why there's always a glare anyway that was a bunch of needless information y'all probably don't care about but there it is <laughs> and anyway the next thing I picked up were these um Sugar Plum Christmas dye papers, and uh, I don't know why I did this, um, because you're supposed to buy the dye set that comes with the collection, and it will cut around each of these little uh, pieces, and I don't know why I didn't buy the dyes, but anyways, I guess I could try to uh, fussy cut these, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, they're really pretty, so I'm loving the Nutcrackers, um, here's just a quick overview. And it says, tis the season to be nutty. <laughs> like, I think this collection is really cute. So I picked up um, two of those. And then here is this sheet. And um, these are double-sided. So I grabbed two of the cut-aparts. And y'all, this is just, oh, it is so cute. Look how cute this is. Like, I am just really loving all these colors together. And here is the back side of that one. And then this one is just um, a lot of little different houses. And these remind me of Putt's houses, if you guys know what those are. And here is the back of that one. And this one um, is really cute. This is a fun little collection. And here's the back of this one. And then this one is just um, all of the different little nutcrackers. And then this is the back of that one. So that is all of the paper. And then I did pick up uh, two packs of the ephemera. There are 30 pieces each in here. And this is what all is included in the ephemera packs. So yeah, I am excited to uh, play with this. Like I said, I'm really loving all those pastels and the mint colors. So I think that'll really be uh, fun to work with as Christmas gets closer. 
And then moving on to Cracker Barrel, I've actually had these for like, I don't know, a month, month and a half now, and I keep forgetting to share <laughs> every time I do a video, but it's these little ghosty mugs holding a pumpkin, and y'all, my God, these are so cute. Um, these were $6.99 each, and I could not find these in my store. Um, when I went, they only had just a little display out for Halloween. And so I actually ordered these online with no issues. And uh, guys, don't sleep on Cracker Barrel. Like, for real. <laughs> Cracker Barrel is not somewhere that I typically eat just because I have celiac disease and I have to be gluten-free. So there's not a lot of gluten-free options that Cracker Barrel offers. Um, but I did see someone share these little mugs, I think, on Instagram. And I went into the Cracker Barrel, and I, when I got in there, I'm like, why do I not come here for seasonal stuff? Like, I never do. But I'm going to start making it a habit of trying to add Cracker Barrel to the places that I go when I want to shop on the weekends. And also, I'm going to start checking their website because the things that I've been seeing that people are sharing, they have some really cute stuff this year. So anyways, there is the little ghosty mug. And then moving on um, to AliExpress, I placed another order with uh, KS Craft. And I just picked up the Happy Mail Shadow Word dies. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this stuff. Um, some of this stuff is not new at all. But the reason for my order <laughs> was because of this little die set right here. I am obsessed with this little die set. Um, I've seen uh paper dreams and things i think is her channel um she had shared some projects that she made and she had used this little ghost eye and y'all it was so stinking adorable i immediately ran to aliexpress and added this to my cart but it's so cute and you get the little bow for um one of the little ghosts to be a girl and then here's your little uh, candy bucket or whatever and these are fun now I don't know how old these are um, but these were only like two dollars and 79 cent off of alley and I'm like yes please like oh my gosh absolutely freaking adorable and it's just called cute Halloween ghost so there's that one um I did pick up some Halloween uh, shadow words again I don't know how old these are, but y'all know that I am um, absolutely obsessed with word dies at the moment. I don't know why, so I added those to my <laughs> stash. And then I also um, picked up the big spiderweb doily, and the example that KS Craft Hannah had on these, absolutely, it's just precious. So I think this would be great for like a bag topper, and so I went ahead and picked that up. And then, unrelated from Halloween, um, I saw this little watermelon shaker that she had. Again, I don't know how old, you know, <laughs> how old this is, but um, I recently did a Tutti Fruity group swap, and so I've been collecting fruit things as I go, and I thought this was absolutely adorable. So yeah, it's just like a little watermelon slice, and you absolutely could use this to make um, a slice of pizza if you wanted to, if you didn't want to um, use it as a watermelon, but I'm happy to have that in my stash for uh, summer crafting for next year. And that was it for AliExpress, um, but I did pick up another guy from, um, from KS Craft. Now, this one was off of Amazon. Um, I bought something else from Amazon, and I don't know how I ended up on this, <laughs> but I'm happy that I did if I can get into it. And I think this one is nothing new. Um, this is the Skull Bow. And... The example that I saw on her, uh, on the listing was someone had created these and made like a triple layer bow and, you know, stacked them up from big, medium to small. And then you get the little crossbones and a couple of little skulls in here. And I thought, oh my gosh, how fun for pastel Halloween is this going to be? And then here is the last piece. So there's quite a bit of dyes in there. 
Um, I can't remember how, how much I paid for this one. I do know that her stuff on Amazon is more expensive than uh, AliExpress, but sometimes I will go ahead and order through Amazon if I don't want to wait, you know, for a week or so to get my order. So anyway, there is that from Amazon. And then moving on, uh, my friend Rosita, who lives in Florida, um, she does uh, live YouTube sales and she always finds the best goodies for resale. And uh, so I purchased some things from her. And the first thing I picked up was this embossing folder. Um, this is just like a floral detail embossing folder. Um, I also picked up this adorable spider web embossing folder. Um, she did have a couple of Maggie Holmes pieces, and I went ahead and picked up some stamps. And I think this is, is this carousel? I think both of these are carousels. So there's that one, and then here is this stamp set. And then, y'all, she <laughs> she had these uh, clear stamps. Now, y'all know I'm not a stamper, but I absolutely had to have this because this bottom stamp down here says, don't even think about throwing this away. Can y'all see that? And y'all, I'm like, yes, give me that. <laughs> I think this is going to be fabulous to stamp on the back of stuff. Like, you know how you people put their labels on the, on the back of their makes and stuff. Well, I plan on adding a, my label and then I'm going to put that on there. Like, I just think that <laughs> is hilarious. So there's that. Um, and then she actually picked me up some of these clear stamps from the Dollar Tree. I was never able to find these in my area, and I really wanted these um, sentiments because it's just a really good mix. So she picked me up this pack, and then this one, and also the thank you one. So anyways, um, yes, and like I said, if you guys are not familiar with Rosita and you like to... Um, buy from D sashes and things like that, you guys will definitely have to go over and check her out. She is Toe Socks Treasures, y'all. And she is a hoot. And like I said, she finds the best things um, for her sales. So y'all keep that in mind. All right, now moving on to the Dollar Tree. I did not find much of the Dollar Tree at all this weekend. Um, I'm really hoping and praying that my area starts to get fall and Halloween out really soon. Um, I'm starting to see code orange. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, I didn't find a whole lot. Like I was saying, I'm really waiting for my area to start putting out the fall and Halloween. I've been, you know, I've been seeing the code orange on uh, YouTube. And so I know they're starting to stock the stores, but so far not in my area. So anyways, um, I just grabbed a pack of these mechanical uh, pencils out of the school section. Um, I only have like I'm down to like one mechanical pencil in my craft room, so I grabbed these, and I really like the colors of these, and these are cool because you click it right here instead of at the top, like the little clicker is right there. So yeah, I grabbed that, and then I also found um, these little pencil boxes in the school section, and these are black, and I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but there is some glitter detail in there. And I thought that these would be a really fun, um, you know, to use as, I guess, an embellishment box. And I thought, how fun would these be for um, Halloween? You could decorate the top of it. You could even put some trim or do something fun around the side of it if you want. And this thing is going to hold quite a bit. So, yeah, I went ahead and um, grabbed two of those. And that was it from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Like, yeah, it wasn't, uh, <laughs> it wasn't much at all. Um, moving on to Marshall's. I am on the hunt for the viral ghost dog, or the ghost walking her ghost dog. I'm sure you guys have seen those. I'm probably not going to find them, but I am on the hunt. And so while it was in Marshall's on Saturday, I found some of these adorable <laughs> garlands. Um, this is a six-foot garland. Uh, this was $14.99. And, of course, you know, all my colors, pink, black, and white, right here, y'all. And I'm like, yes, I have to have this. 
Um, I just really like the detail. Like she has a little flower. He has a bow tie. She has a little hat. He has a hat. And I'm not sure what these two over here have. But anyway, look how stinking cute. And if I didn't want to use this as a garland, I absolutely could cut this apart um, use the pink and black beads and also how cute would these be to put in some happy mail or to put in with a swap like I think they're absolutely adorable so there's that one but I think my favorite one is this one as soon as I saw the pink pumpkins I was like oh let me get that um, so this is by Martha Stewart. It is six foot as well. It was also $14.99. And these are really thick. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell the thickness of these. They're a lot thicker than these ones. But look at those pink pumpkins. Yes, please. Like, that is what sold me on these was the pink pumpkin. <laughs> so there is that. And then... um. I did pick a couple things up from Gabe's, and I don't know if you guys have a Gabe's in your area, um, but Gabe's is basically kind of like a TJ Maxx. I'll just compare it to that, a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, because you don't ever wait, never know what you're going to find, okay? And I have been noticing a lot that Gabe's is starting to get all kinds of stuff in from these stores like Marshalls. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target. Target is a big one. Um, last year, my Gabe's had an entire section in the back corner of the store that was nothing but Target stuff. And y'all, I was so freaking excited, but they got rid of it. But now I noticed that they're sprinkling the items just all throughout the store. And the reason why I told y'all that is because I filmed this little um, cupcake set. And I absolutely love the toppers on this. And this was $1.79. And I feel like this came from a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx or somewhere like that. And they tore the sticker off. But y'all, $1.79. And so I was really, really excited about that. And then the last thing that I bought um, is, which is not craft related, but I wanted to share anyway. I love getting my garden flags um, from Gabe's because their garden flags are like $3.99. And I absolutely just love the aesthetic of this. And I love Pastelloween, but for fall, I love the you know, the oranges, the neutral colors, the green, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'll always buy my garden flags um, from there. So yeah, that is it. And there's the price, $3.99. And anyways, um, I did pick up other stuff. Like I bought, um, I bought me a new hat. I bought me a new sweatshirt. I bought me some perfume. I bought um, some dog-related and cat-related things. Um, you guys let me know, do you want to see all of the things that I haul when I shop? Or do you guys prefer that I just stick to like the more crafty related stuff, I guess you could say? Um, you guys let me know because like I said, I be buying all kinds of stuff, okay? <laughs> I just don't share it on here. So anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, friends.